Hi everybody, it's uh, Joe again. Uh, I just want to briefly show you guys another uh, video on some things that I made and I want to just share with the, the wood gas community. And uh, there's some really good people who've made their machines as well. Uh, one person in particular, a username by uh, uh, CNC Machining is Fun. I believe that gentleman's in uh, uh, in New Zealand, but uh, he's got a really good uh, good apparatus on making his own uh, uh, wood gas chips, I guess you could say, or fingers, as he likes to put them. But uh, I made my little uh, finger cutting. I shouldn't actually say that that way. <laughs> uh, I made my little apparatus, basically the same like he did. Um, again, if anybody wants to to see his videos. Um, Again, it's uh, I think a CNC machining is fun. Um, I'll put it on the description anyway. But uh, really good. I made his apparatus as well, and I made my own little device that makes my own kind of wood chips or you know to feed my uh, my gasifier. But anyways, uh, enough talk. I'll just show you what I've made and uh, what he has made, and I just kind of mimicked what he did. So uh, give me a sec, and I'll show you. So right here. It's basically like one of those, like it looks like a vertical uh, table saw. Uh, basically what it does, this little machine takes two by fours that you can get around and cut them into small pieces. And uh, what happens here is, uh, what I made here is, is basically right on the side, if I can look here, this probably needs a little bit more light. Right here on the side, basically this moves back and forth and I got a roller a roller for it uh, that you can use like for a drawer or something like that so this moves back and forth and there's a saw that's underneath so basically the 2x4 fits right on top of this hole and you can see the saw blade that's inside there see that so if I move this back and forth the wood goes onto the bottom there slides with me pulling and then basically cuts the wood like that all right and it makes them very uniform pieces of wood uh, that you can use for your gasifier so it's fun and it, it works absolutely amazing so i'll show you that real quick another thing i mean, is i you know i made a guard down there but that's where the these things kind of come down so this is one i made not too long ago here but basically it's a 2x4 cut and this is about a quarter of an inch uh, wide and uh, it really does really well so uh, I'll show you real quickly I'll start this machine up so again you take a 2x4 okay and basically I slip that thing all the way down now if this thing gets jammed or something like that it has in the past, but I corrected that anyway. Uh, I, I just made something like this, like a little poker. And uh, let's say if this thing's jammed down there and I can't get at it, I simply drop the poker in there and bring up the 2x4. So that works like that too. So I'll start this little machine up and show you guys that. Again, the gentleman who made this contraption uh, goes by the name of uh, C and C machining is fun. So, all right, I'll start this thing up. fingers uh, pretty darn fast and they're very uniform 
Now again, you know, with people driving on wood, I mean, you can make these pretty darn fast, make a bag of it real quick also. But if you want to make them smaller, again, that, uh, that CNC machining is fun. Uh, definitely has made another machine, which I kind of mimicked as well. And I'll show you that next. All right, so this is the next machine. This is basically like a, a you know, um, a little cutter that, you know, you could take for trees and whatnot, take off branches. But what I did was I made it so that I can cut these things. Here, let's see here. So what I was doing is taking these fuel fingers and then turning it into that with this machine. Now that, uh, that gentleman again, uh, that CNC machining is fun. He uh, he made something like this too, which I find is really awesome. Now, if I can get a better picture here, now I made a rail system on this thing, okay? And this this rail uh, is a little bit different, but I can see what's going on. And what I did was I took this uh, square bar tube bar, okay? And uh, basically, I, I cut the sides off here, so that way it looks like that. Okay. Now this top of the bar here, I have a flat bar. I think it's about a inch and a half flat bar that I kind of welded onto the side. If I can just tap that, and there we go. So I welded that on the side to hold these two pieces together. And by with me doing that. Basically, I made like a little rail system, which works awesome. Now, if anyone hasn't seen this contraption work before, I'll just uh, show you. Basically, I put this thing in a vise, okay, and it's like a hedge cutter or something like that. And I get that thing to zoom or focus right. Anyways, you can see this in motion where I, if I open the hedge cutter like this, okay, you can see that this arm opens and a piece of wood drops right inside there. And as soon as I close it, it just basically cuts the wood like that. Now, the reason why this thing works actually really well is because the grains on here work really well. So you're just more or less splitting the wood than cutting it. Doesn't really work too well with. Uh, you know with other things but uh, it works well with this because it just splits the wood so again this thing works great um, it pivots on here and then I welded another or I just drilled a hole and just put another piece of uh, steel I think it's about an inch and a half steel uh, width wise so it just drops in there and let me see if I can put this piece of wood through And it just drops. See how it nicely slides right here? Just perfectly slides. Okay, and then I'm going to get that thing to drop. Boom, it drops all the way to the bottom. I can put a few more in here if I want. So boom, just drops all the way down. Just beautifully. All the way down. Perfect. So now that it's almost all the way full, I can start chopping. So again, now, if you see here, real close, that's good. All right, so if I bring that closer, you can see that it'll want to start to cut. Boom, there, and then it just falls into that thing. So if I could do this pretty quick. Three, four, five, six. I know it, it, it can be pretty slow, but it does work really well and uh, this little rail system works wonderful. Thank you again uh, for the user guy of uh, machining. CNC machining is fun. That guy is brilliant. Uh, he has some really good videos on YouTube too, so highly recommend seeing I made his apparatus too. This is not my idea. I just simply mimicked. Um, but I'm going to show you now an idea that I've made, and I haven't seen anyone do this yet, but uh, 
basically made my own little wood chipper. Um, if anyone wants to try this out, please, please be very careful because uh, it can be dangerous and you know I don't want to get wood chips in, you know, in your eyes or anything like that. So wear safety glasses for one and uh, just always be careful. The next machine I want to show you is basically my idea. I simply take uh, those fuel fingers that I made and I made them into what's in this bag. So if I take what's in this bag right here there's a lot of a lot of pieces right here and they're pretty strong too I mean it's it's small but it's good for what I have and uh, it works well with uh, I, I believe with Flash's design um, this is great this works I, I get no bridging from this stuff it works awesome so anyways I'll show you what this machine here does I have the top off of it but as you can see right here is uh, basically looks like a lawnmower uh, knife oops sorry. What this is, uh, basically this splint is really fast, is I think that, that quarter inch uh, or a one eighth inch steel by uh, I think it's one and a quarter uh, width. And what this does, I made that fuel rail system again, okay, and I put those fuel fingers inside and this will spin and cut them fast. I mean, it's so fast that it just, it, it goes really quick. I shaved this off about a 45 degree angle okay and it just basically it splits them rather than cuts them so I'll show this operation in uh, or show this machine in operation so again if I take my little fuel fingers and I have them here and put them in here they just slide just wonderfully like that and it's easy to make one of these things, it really is. Just weld something together and you're ready to rock and roll. So I stick that through, as you can see, and then I'll turn the machine on. And as soon as I turn that machine on, right now I have the guard off, but as you can see, the fuel fingers flow right through here and they cut right about there and they make like perfect little fuel pellets type of thing so alright now it is going to be flying so uh, what I'll do is I'll just put that there like that put the safety glasses on now I don't have the guard for this on because just because I just want to show people how this works so Turn that on. They make uniform little cuts. Now, to save myself a little bit of, you know, headache of cleaning all this crap off the floor, or I should say crap, I should say fuel. <laughs> Basically, what I made is a small um, device, really simple, like a guard, so it doesn't um, fall down so easy. So, and let me see where's a good angle. All right, so I'll just leave that there for a second. What I did was I, uh, I took one of these these uh, stainless steel bowls, okay, and I cut a piece out of it like that. Now when I cut a little piece out, that's gonna fit over top. Okay, and then what I do is I, uh, I put a little, I put it like a 20, 20 pound weight on the top like that, okay? So if I put the 20 pound weight on top, you can see there, 
where the fuel kind of goes into the uh, into the hole there and basically cuts and drops right down to that bucket. So, anyways, so again with this thing in operation, I'll show you how fast this thing cuts. I mean, lickety split. Hang on, maybe I'll just put that here. There we go. All right. So take my little fuel fingers. Pop some more in here. Turn the machine on. Real fast. Boom, just like that. Goes so fast that I can't even feed them that quickly. Two. Boom, just like that. Now what I do, I'm just using my uh, crescent wrench, adjustable crescent wrench to move it forward. Alright, so I'll turn that off and uh, I'll show you kind of what, what this did. Now with this thing on top, it really does help. So I'll take the weight off. And take this off, and as you can see, they're not all uniform, but I tell you, it works just perfect. You know, they don't all just drop into the bucket in there, but, you know, they're uh, great little pieces. I'd say the biggest piece right here is about a, an inch, an inch and a quarter by, you know, half an inch, if that. And the smallest pieces, I mean, there's small little chunks here, but I tell you, this, this stuff works really well. Really good. So that's, that's what's in that little bag. And it goes fast. I can make a bag within like 20 minutes, real quick. So that's that. If anyone does this, you know what, please be careful. This is basically, it's not a lawnmower blade. I, I made this blade myself. Um... Basically, if I get some measurements here, um, I'll show you here quickly. <coughs> measurements of this blade, it all depends on what you're making. But the blade, the blade itself is uh, about seven inches, seven inches long or six and a half something like that seven inches and uh, this little fuel rail is two inches and I'll move this up here a bit and yeah the fuel rail is about two inches and uh, basically I just push those suckers through and it works great so again uh, you know this is how I made this thing and uh, guys want to mimic it sure just please please be careful because uh, yeah, it can be dangerous you know definitely wear safety glasses and uh, watch your fingers uh, if you don't know what you're doing don't make this <laughs> but uh, you know don't don't get hurt because of me or something like that so uh, just just uh, if anyone does this kind of stuff it, it is very dangerous okay so uh, please please be careful uh, if you're a young person doing this, you know, definitely get a, you know, an adult supervised or someone helping you out, like your dad or, or your mom. So, um, but uh, that's what I made. I hope, uh, I hope that helps. And uh, if anyone wants uh, to know how to build this other stuff too, uh, that CNC ma machining is fun. Um, the username guy is, uh, he has some really good videos out there too. So again, buddy, thanks a lot for your help. I think they're great videos. And uh, yeah, I'll post some new ones up and uh, show my progress. Thanks very much.